Afternoon everyone, how are y'all? Thank you for joining. So I'm gonna do my first 3D shoot. I had a friend invite me, I've never done one before. It's kind of a little nerve wracking, but hey, we're gonna try. So a new bow I just built, got some extra little trinkets. This is was just gonna be a shelf bow pretty much. Every once in a while, man, we got some strong winds. Sorry y'all, always windy here in Texas. So I got little add-ons. You know, just in memory of my blue healer that's no longer with us. So this bow is 44 at 29. Normally I'm shooting around 53, 57 at 29. So of course I'm setting it up for 3D. I've never done it. First thing I do is always set my arrow up for hunting. It's not a bad arrow. I mean it's really good. It's just past 20 yards it just starts nosediving though. It's only shooting like 150. That ain't fast compared to what I'm used to shooting. I mean, six inches under at 10 yards, pretty much on. I don't look at the tips. This arrow, I'm having to look at the tips. I'm having to aim it in reference. But, I mean, it's there every time. I have to look at that and not the target. But I was like, why not try to build a lighter one? 3D doesn't matter, right? I don't know. I've never done it. Well, I stepped down to... 500 for the first time I've ever done that but of course the lightest bow I've ever built for me well 125 up front this is 390 grains 200 grains lighter than that arrow shooting in the 170s now this arrow is more natural to me literally I just point it and it's pretty much exactly where I need it unless I make a mistake or granted in this wind it doesn't buck this wind that arrow will this one, not. So I don't know which one I need to take. Do I take the one I can just point shoot and it's there? Right next to the other one. To me, it felt cleaner. It felt more natural. I mean, some of y'all are 3D shooters. Let me know your opinion. Should I go with an arrow that's just more natural? Right next to the other one. Or the one I have to think about. Because I've never done 3D shooting. I don't know what it's going to be like. Well, let me know if you have an opinion.